Welcome my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobo Man. In today's video, I wanted to talk about one of the questions that I have in my article that is called Top 10 Hard Desktop Support Interview Questions and Answers. And in this video, I will want to go into more of a detailed and demonstration on the answer itself. So let's go ahead and look at question number two that is within this article. And um, the question is, a user has transferred to another department within the company and their local profile is missing many files and desktop icons. What do you think the issue could be? So the, my answer is basically in a format where you think out loud and you explain your steps on how you troubleshoot computer issues and basically is a good way for interviewer to understand that you do know how to troubleshoot. Um, various computer issues. So I explain it in first, second, third, and last format. So it's first, second, third, and lastly, which makes my format to answer this question four parts. So let's go to look at the first. I would ask the user if they move to another computer, which could mean that their files are stored at another machine. Right, so if somebody literally switches computers, of course, that new computer is not going to have those files that are stored at, at the other machine. It could also mean that the new computer does not have the same software installed and icons for those would not be present. So if the new computer does not have the same program, of course, it's not going to have those icons. So let's have a look at an example of how that looks like. Here is a brand new login or brand new local profile created for this computer and if I go inside my downloads for example it will be empty because it's a new computer if I go inside of documents it's going to be empty because I moved to a new computer if I go to desktop it's going to be empty because I moved to another computer and this is just a shortcut to Microsoft Edge and what I'm talking about missing files so it's going to miss all those files that you created on the desktop so let's say let me let me show you here what I mean so if I go here and create a you know just a new file it's going to show up on their desktop so that's considered a, you know new file this here is just a shortcut to the file so of course you move to another computer you haven't transferred any of your files, you haven't, you know, moved them to another computer, of course, it's going to be empty. So that's why I explained it in such a way. Second thing is, let's say you missing icons for the computer. Of course, you're just going to have whatever's installed on this computer. This computer just happens to have Audacity, Google Chrome, OBS Studio, Open Office, you know, and etc. But if you happen to have, you know, Microsoft Office and you had a shortcut to Outlook, to Excel, to anything else on your desktop, of course, it's not going to be there because this computer doesn't have that installed. Okay, now let's go to the second uh, part of that answer. Okay, and second here, it says, if user has not moved to another machine, I would check the Active Directory um, if any GPO or domain profile restrictions for users new department are affecting the ability to create, view, or edit files. So let's have a look what I mean. If someone has been moved within Active Directory or their domain, chances are that their permissions to view, edit, or modify files have been changed, which could reflect on the way things look like on their computer. So if somebody moved to another department and that department has new restrictions in place where it doesn't allow them to view a lot of things which can be modified. For example, you would go in here and look at this PC or previously known as my computer in Windows 7. Chances are they may not even be able to see this. They may not even be able to see local C, let alone any files that are within the hard drive, right? Because changes on the domain level or within actor directory have suddenly, you know, are suddenly preventing you or the new user to access, view, or edit any of these files. This sometimes happens. Some departments have more restrictions on 
their users or and their associates they don't want them to do certain things they don't want them to view certain things so suddenly they got migrated to the new new uh, part of the active directory where they have more restrictions this has replicated and chances are whenever they go in here they won't be able to see any of this so uh, by the way one way if, if you're missing if you can't see local c drives or any of these drives listed here you can just simply type in c <laughs> a lot of times that's actually open like that so let's go ahead and have a look at our third part of this answer user may have received a new domain login which inherently does not have access to previously used local profile which has the old login id attached to it so if somebody you know moves to a new department and they decide to tell them okay now you're going to use this login you know when they log in it would be just like this you know they log in and it would be just like this their new profile this is their new profile that they got. Their, their new login is their new profile, right? And it would be empty. It would be empty just like this. So what is the reason for that? It's because their old profile has all the stuff. So let's look at root of C again and our users folder. Once we go inside of here, let's say, and, and this is the fact now, I am using this one, right? YT login. That's my login ID right now. If I previously used this one, everything that's inside of that, it's going to stay inside of that. So now I'm suddenly using this one, of course it's going to be empty. So in order to restore that, obviously you will go back inside of this, go into the, you know, if you have the permissions, obviously, um, go inside and, you know, copy paste all the data that's within their documents and everything else on their desktop and just restore it back here, you know, into their new login. And that's the reason for that. Any time you change login ID, it's going to, you know, create everything brand new. And, you know, all the old stuff is going to be located on the old profile, which you can transfer back. Okay, now let's have a look at uh, my last, last thing that I would say within, in the, as, a, as an answer to this question uh, with, you know, during an interview. Lastly, if any of the situations described apply, I would act accordingly to resolve the issue. If user files are located somewhere else and if permitted by the company policy, very important, I would transfer them back to the user. Same goes for any missing software. So what I'm saying here is that if, if it's a common practice for their company to create backups, I would restore all of their uh, all of their documents to them and I would also transfer all the software that they used to have to the new computer if they happen to move to a new computer of course this is all you know depending on the company's policy their manager at the new department may say nope they don't need this so of course you would double check that to make sure that that is allowed as well so this is very fun thing to think about because this happens a lot in desktop support where you know suddenly all, everything's missing and they don't know what happened because users don't know and you know sometimes they'll panic and they would go and they're like oh i'm missing everything everything's missing and you sure enough you go in desktop is pretty much empty documents are empty everything's empty but they don't know what happened so hopefully you help them or you've been notified ahead of time. So if you're a local desktop support, uh, hopefully you've been notified ahead of time that this person is moving to another department and then you can help them, you know, by creating, you know, you know, a backup of that, of their local profile or simply moving it from one computer to another, which you can simply do over the network. You know, you can just simply go to the back door and just type in backslash backslash two backslashes, name of the computer, you know, name of the computer where they used to sit and just type in C and dollar sign. This should be able to access their old computer. And once you do that, basically it will just, you know, 
it will basically get you into the root of C like this. It would just say the name of the computer there rather than just C. And then it would say name of the computer with C, you know, backslash C. And then you, in here, you can just go, you know, what is that? What is their old profile? And then you find it. And then, you know, usually what I do is, you know, I go like this desktop documents. I would highlight all of this, usually their favorites. Then I would copy and then access her or his or her computer remotely that they're using currently, you know, go back here, find their new profile, whatever that may be, add to the other computer and then just paste it, you know. Um, usually <laughs> it didn't, it did it like that because I did it on the same login. But if I go into and find another login, it would simply just update the profile or the folders that are there. It's not going to create duplicates. Then that only did that because I did it on the same local profile. Uh, trust me, I've done this hundreds and hundreds of times. All right, guys, I hope you find this video helpful in your help desk desktop support or whatever it is that you're doing right so let me know if you have any questions i'm here for you to help you out so don't be shy i'll help you with any questions that you may have and let me know if you like this type of stuff smash the like button tell tell your friends about me if you you know if you like this type of stuff they might like it too all right guys i appreciate you thank you so much and have a good day